My name is Rachel and I'm a third year apprentice diesel fuel injection fitter. It's not just a dead end job where you're doing the same thing day in day out, it really makes you think at the same time. I like diagnosing what's gone wrong in a certain situation. There's no pump that I've seen that is exactly the same, they're all, they could be similar but every pump is different. This is a pump that's come in for a service. Um, it's a six cylinder inline pump, you can see the six cylinders up here. As you can see they're all in line, that's where you get the uh, name inline pump from. We're going to be stripping this down. It usually takes one to two hours to strip it and quote it. A couple more hours to clean it and fix anything and in that time while you're cleaning it your, your parts are coming in. When it's all assembled it goes on the test bench to uh, calibrate it and um, do the phasing and uh, set up the governor and then it's all ready for the customer. I started doing some work experience for my friend and he does a lot of engine rebuilds and stuff like that and I learnt a lot about internals of different components. My brother actually was friends with his friend's dad, who is my boss now, um, said I'll get your sister to put her resume in and we'll give her an interview. I actually started off here as a light automotive mechanic, but once I saw all the pumps and stuff and watched the other boys working on them and that, I kind of felt like, oh, I want to do the same thing, so I changed my apprenticeship over and that's what I'm doing now. What I'm about to do here is run up this DPA pump um, to uh, test it and calibrate it. The uh, test fluid comes through here as the pump goes around, it injects the fuel through these pipes into the injectors up here. This is um, our supply pressure. Uh, this would be for um, boost pressure because we actually use compressed air on the test bench to simulate uh, turbo charger boost. I mean there's so many different types of things that you're looking at and some of the times you don't quite get what you're looking at and you really do have to think in your head to, to work out what's going on, especially in the governor side of things. But it's the challenge that makes you want to overcome that challenge, really, you want to beat it. I'm taking the, uh, the governor off, the governor housing off. Inside here you can see the governor weights and the levers which it operates on. And I just need to take this start spring off and we'll be able to get it off. These are the governor weights which is what controls the engine speed from running out. As the shaft spins faster, it causes the governor weights to come out from centrifugal force which tries to pull back on the rack and stop it from giving as much fuel so that it doesn't over rev itself. You're um, responsible for buying your own apprentice kit to start off with. Um, and then as you go, you just, as you need tools, you buy them. As you can afford tools, you buy them. This big one cost me about 800 bucks and this small 3.8 cost me about 600 bucks. The way I say it, girls always walk past the shoe shops and go, ooh, I like those shoes, but for me it's tools. Yeah, I can't stop buying them. <laughs> it's kind of an addiction. <laughs> I'd like to think that I'm a pretty ambitious person. I don't know, maybe I'd like to work my way up in the company or have my own business. I mean, apprentices are always going to be bottom rung while they're apprentices. But um, if you learn different aspects of the job, then obviously you're going to be more valuable and be able to get paid more. So there's a lot of mining opportunities that pay very well for diesel fitters. There are some mechanics out there that will just um, you know, do services all day and do the same thing day and day out. I mean, just in this workplace there's the rotary pump section and there's the, the turbo section and there's the heavy duty section and the, the light com commercial section and there's just, you know, there's so many different things that you can learn and, and do just within this one field, yeah. yeah. I suppose it was a bit different for the guys working here for to have a female working here. But lucky for me they've been pretty good. They've been very accepting of me and 
they've seen how keen I am to learn and how keen I am to learn what they're doing. If people notice me for anything, I'd, I'd like to think it would be because I've done my job right rather than being, being of a different gender. Yeah.